Okay, so we need to get a ceiling kit together for our windscreen. Uh, I think we've got some mechanics, mechanic kits. If we need them, the first aid kits we're still fine with. Okay, so let's then go ahead and just repair these panels. Uh, what else is kind of damaged? Headlight, great, let's do it. That's new. Fix that up. How's the door looking? Great. Okay. I think these um, steel panels and stuff were a very good investment. I really think they were an excellent decision. Um, great. Right. Let's get the sealant kit going. Beep, 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 beep. Fantastis. Then. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. So, I mean, I suppose we can just fill up. And we only have one, yeah, only one crude panel sort of available. Okay. Kind of regret using all those uh, steel scraps for, for, um, tend to your wounds are the first, oh, hold on, whoa. Tires and good car. Oh, right, 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 right. We need a mechanics kit for the tire because it's loose. Oh, that's a ceiling kit. None of those are mechanics kits. Gotcha. And I think the mechanics kit was in here, maybe? I know I had one. At some point. Light replacement. Did I have one? Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Nothing is real. Yeah, I'm really starting to regret getting that uh, detailing station. But it, 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 it's okay. It's okay, you know? Just wanted to see though. Repair ties in good condition. Okay, so visit the friendly dumpster. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. No, I had wounds. Oh, because it's 95 and not 100. Got you. Fair enough. What is the friendly dumpster going to give us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think we exhausted it. Okay, that's fine. That's uh, no problemo. So then let's, you know what, let's go out on another one. We're fueled up. Uh, so the tire is loose, which obviously not great, but we do have a crafting station in here. And um, what we just need to get for mechanics kit is another piece of scrap metal. So literally one other piece. So I think we can plan a route we can maybe get some, we can maybe get a steel panel while we're out there as well. Steel sheet, sorry. So just more scrap metal, get some steel sheets, and then we can maybe get another bumper going to replace on this side. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. The car is repaired for the most part. Um, nothing is worryingly damaged, let's put it that way. We're gassed up, steel doors, I mean the doors aren't the greatest. You know what? Let's, uh, let's be smart. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fix you up. Can fix you up. Okay. Transfer. Great. Let's go. Take a Oh, no, wait, 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 what am I saying? What am I saying? We need to plan a route. Duh. So these have this is now extreme conditions. So maybe we go here. I don't know. Heavy fog. 
let's try it. Let's try it out. Whatever. Explore the zone, we get told. Chart new roads. Drive. Good. Good stuff. Okay. I really love that hood ornament. That's super cool. Team. On the road again. I guess we're getting on the road again. Back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. Heavy fog. I don't know what that means. Is that a bad thing? Good thing? So it's not a Good thing. Nothing's never really a good thing if it's heavy fuck. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna avoid the electrical stuff. Put it in park. Let's go. No, 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 no. Just don't know why you why aren't you closing? There we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just a nice, cozy, nice, cozy drive, right? We're just collecting some, some parts. Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Oh, mm -hmm. you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. Saw so what? What do you mean, what? The hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your, wait. What? You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver head first into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? Mm -hmm. When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been 40 years. Uh-huh. Is no one going to tell me what the deep zone is? No? Okay, cool. Awesome. Love that. Thanks. Okay, so we got a bit of steel there for... Mechanics kit. Um, let's switch my lights on this time. Which way do we want to go? Let's go left. Yeah. And that's not all. Whoa! It's a hallucination wave that triggered. We picked up its waveform, and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is. We have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane. That would be pretty great. Uh, I would I wouldn't mind not going mad. Remnant, uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61. And a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <laughs> I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled uh. every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh... Mm -hmm. Watch yourself. Okay. Ah, uh, here's the quirk. When the lights are on and I turn the wheel, they like fade. Mm 
Mm hmm. Let's have a look what's in here. Anything? Anything? No? Oh. Ah, okay. That's fine. So that's what I'm trying to understand now. If there's no links, no gateway links, or maybe... No, there will be a gateway link because we need to just go get the energy first. Gotcha. I definitely haven't forgotten all of my tutorials. Was the battery draining really fast? I'm trying to figure out what the quirk is so that when I get back I can diagnose it properly. Oh, balls. I don't know what that is. But I'm just going to grab this and leave. Go away. No. What is going on here? What is this? Okay. Right. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to head off back to the auto shop with this extra bit of charge we've got going on. Why is it glowing purple? Okay. Cool. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Right. And then I think we'll we'll just take a, a second to kind of just I guess see what's happening with this car, try and diagnose it. So we can sort its quirks out. Uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say something is probably draining the battery quite a lot. Anything I can really think of, to be honest. But now, why is it saying the gateway is too close? Oh, I have to set the gateway first. I'm an idiot. I forgot about that. Oh, come on. Go away. Did this son of a gun just take my door off? An asshole. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Let's go then. I don't like the sound of any of that. So, let's go. Please don't kill me. 
No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. That's closing fast. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. This is dodge. This is sketch. This is so sketchy. Yep, this is sketch. This is sketch. This is dodge. This is dodge. Come on. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Just drive. Just drive. Just drive. Just drive. And we're good. Great. That was relatively intact. I... I owe you an apology. Do you think? I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver are foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is, and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. Mm -hmm. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. I'm just trying to... Would we say dims? Bad guess. Two out of four correct. Okay. So let's say battery drains quickly. And headlights... Dim. Two out of four correct. What are you talking about? I don't... What? Battery drains quickly. Battery consumes faster? I don't know. Okay. Hang on. I said headlights. No. I was right. It's battery. Decreases. Headlights. Wobbles, inverts. No. Tire trunk wipers. No. Dome light. No. It's headlights and they dim. I okay. I don't understand that system at all. I don't get this tinker station. Oh, let's see. This will help you. How? What do you mean how? How do I use it? There's a shifter. No. Every car door. Dashboard is turning. Car. Move slow. Brakes. Backwards. Or kicked. An incline. Downhill. Nope. So this is headlights toggle, but they don't toggle. They dim. Uh, what do we have 
here at the steering wheel. Goes right, goes left, swerves hard, stays turning. No. Closed open, empty, full. Wipers. Okay, so wipers switches on. Let's try this. I'm just going to say headlights. Dim. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe this is how it's supposed to go. So where's the steering wheel? Steering wheel. I'm just going to say steering wheel goes left. Headlights dim. Okay. Steering wheel goes right. Headlight flickers. One guess from, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what, what that means. We have no remaining guesses. So, I don't know. Okay, so then what? What? So, we've got no remaining guesses. So, now what? Are we just screwed for the rest of the playthrough? I mean, something's going wrong because the battery is draining super duper quickly. Yeah, we'll just take a whole ass engine out, why don't we? Let's, uh, I just, actually, you know what, while we're talking about engines, let's have a look. What do we, what do we need? Oh, uh, we need to, sorry. We need to come in here. Let's have a look. Not fuel. Battery. Plasma charger. Battery jumper. Got you. Unlock a side rack scanner wriggling wreck anomaly. I don't know what that means, but sure. Engines. Turbo light engine. Interesting. So, what would we just need? Stable energy. Quite a lot of it. Okay. Eight cylinder custom crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic, multi point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. Awesome. Uh, ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor of the monster? Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. That could be cool. So we need unstable energy for here. So let's switch to two. Outfitting matter regenerator, no circuit board. Liberator. What is a liberator? Less precise than a cutting tool, the liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. What? Could we maybe use this as a... I've been thinking a couple times, like, we found steel doors and stuff. That I've, I've wondered, how can we remove just the door instead of having to break it down and then reformat it as a... As a thing. Okay. I just want to have a look at something quickly as well, because now... This battery is draining incredibly fast. But I don't know why. Is it because of the abilities? Is it because of... Like, what is going on? It's in park. Let's start. No. Sorry. Yeah. 
here. Well, now no one knows what's wrong with it. Which is a problem. Okay, the battery is draining, but... Does that mean their arc works? Does that mean, like, big screen version of the car's current status? How's the high res looking? Alright. It's, it's just, I just want to try and figure this out. Something is draining. This thing's battery. Badly. And I don't know why. Okay. Oh well. Um... That's worrying, to be very honest with you. I'm quite concerned. Wood paneling sticker. Okay. Root map. Oh, it's because we just came from there. Right. So we need to return to Siena where we were. Okay. I think let's do that. I genuinely still don't know about this battery. We have a jump... We do have a jump um, hit. So we got a battery jumper. I just, I really don't know what's sort of causing any issues. paneling sticker let's have a look what else can we make I'm sure we can make some stuff uh scrapper and we, we already have extras in the in the car uh steel sheet uh, we have to make here okay that makes sense And then I wanted to make a steel bumper, I think. But I can't. Uh-huh. Okay. You know what? This is what we're going to do. do this with me. Here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. Mm -hmm. I need you to head sure. back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Okay. The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Someone's pretty beat up about this. I'm not gonna lie. So, does this mean we can now just go straight to... Or do we have to... I think we have to go through... Mm-hmm. Okay. Why does this look different? Hey, Matt. This is different, isn't it? Okay. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but I'm pretty sure this was different than the last time. Right. 
Got gotcha. you. Okay. Just we can turn the lights off. It's fine. Oh, that's what was draining the battery. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we made it back to the uh, area of Sierra. Standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra ought to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, so, like I was saying, we got back to Sierra, but we've got uh, one of our tires is loose. As you can see, our car's not in the greatest shape. Navigating through that little area was not um, was not completely smooth, to put it that way. And something I've realized as well is if you look at the map over here, you'll actually notice there's a couple of points over there, over there, over there. And obviously we can't exit through these points, right? So these are actually just multiple entry points that we have, which I don't know if they're random or if sequential or whatever, but obviously, so when we come through this area, right, say from somewhere else, we can either come through there, come through there or through there. Like the last time we were in Sierra and we came through this side and I see we're going backwards. Um, we actually came through, through the Southern entrance, essentially. So that's quite cool. I, I think that's, that's, um, does kind of keep a little bit of mystery, you know? So yeah, we, it would be great to find some parts for a mechanics kit because this tire is, ah, we need a ceiling kit, not a mechanics kit. Actually, then that's fantastic because we have one of those right here. Great. Oh, that's so much better. Cool. We also got a little bit of energy from that last point. Um, but it might be worth going to get this other little bit over here. Over there. We'll, uh, we'll see. Let's see. Let's go to the observation tower. Not exactly running out of stuff in the fabricator to research and add in. So I think it would be great if we could. Oh, these bunny things are so freaking annoying, actually. Just drive. Just drive, because sometimes you could. Mm. Thankfully, once they launch for your car, then they kind of don't move again. But yeah, they can be quite annoying sometimes. The towers are locked up tight, which you uh -huh. can tighten up security protocols all day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, Thanks. Oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Sure. Okay, 
let's see what else we can kind of salvage before oh mm, no wait hang on we can do this we have space hey never hurts never hurts scan the stabilizer map ah okay i got it i'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you, there you is go. it the found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job they're not too far so i've added the location to your route the access road will lead you straight there once you're ready not what I wanted to do, but it's fine. Exit the area via the stabilized access road, and yet we were just talking about how we can't leave. Interesting. Well, should I rephrase and say that the only time we could leave was if we had already had a route planned out. That was, that was the only time we really could. Okay. Unless we went through a... You know, a portal. Or whatever we're going to call it. So we need to get back kind of up there. Right. Well, let's go. I think a good first step will be to get onto that road that leads directly to the, the stabilized road. Oh, we could just launch our car into the air. It's just a station wagon, after all. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So, let's have a look at the possibility of getting down from here. This looks like a sheer cliff. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Oh, jeez. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Let's go here. Cool. Yeah. So the idea is now we just want to kind of head straight on this road. I take it. Um... Maybe not. Come on. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. You got this. Come on. Come on. Mm. Okay, maybe we don't got this. Look, I know you're not off-road. So... There we go. See? Just a bit of love and a bit of a bit of coaxing. That's all you need. What? What? I hate those noises. Yeah, it might be time to start looking at a new engine. Like, this one's great. And all, but... That upgraded engine would really help us out. No, no, no. 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 Lim is poison. Gee, you know what? I don't think we... You know, get anything valuable from there, so... Let's continue. Let's continue. You know, aside from all of the weird and wonderful anomalies that are running around, this is actually a really peaceful experience. A really peaceful setting as well. A lot of trees, open air. Nature is reclaiming its birthright. 
it's amazing. Good to see. Love to see it. Okay, come on. Let's go. Yeah, we really do need to invest in a better engine. Because this, this little area is quite... Well, I say little. It's quite significant, actually. Okay, here we go. Stabilized road. Here we come. 